How would you describe a person who appears to have no plan or direction in life? What does society call a person who lacks goals or ambition? The first words that come to mind would be lazy, unsuccessful, underachiever, disappointment or even failure. But what is the accurate description of such a person? I believe the right description is simply a person that lacks the right motivation. Everybody that walks the earth is motivated by one thing or another. It doesn't matter what path you are on or how slow you think you're moving. Motivation can be the reason we are fired up in the morning or the reason we are dull all day. Motivation is the reason behind our drive, so it goes without saying that no matter what targets we set for ourselves, we cannot function at our peak if we lack the right motivation. When I say the right motivation, I do so because everybody's actions are triggered by some kind of motive. This applies to all people, successful or unsuccessful, young or old, female or male. There are people who appear to move mountains within the same 24 hours allocated to everyone else, while there's another group of people who conduct their daily affairs as if they've never heard of the concept of time. These people usually get things done in record time, using energy and resources that few people can call upon. They are labeled as successful, hard-working overachievers, while the people on the other side of the scale are branded losers, slobs or failures in life. The truth is though, there are no differences in these two sets of people. What a mountain mover can do, an underachiever can easily replicate. The only thing separating them is motivation. You could be either of the two. Which brings us to the question, what motivates you? What motivates you to have an early start to your day or to complete your tasks at breakneck speed? Or I could ask, what motivates you to sleep in for extra hours in the morning or to watch movies and do nothing all day? The answer is simple. It's one word, necessity. Everybody operates under the belief that some things have to be a necessity in their lives. Those beliefs turn into our thoughts, which turn into our actions, which become our habits and eventually manifest into our reality. But it all begins with the belief to make some things a necessity in our lives. People who are regarded as successful are motivated to fill the hole in their lives with whatever they believe is necessary. They are motivated by the pursuit of power, excellence, perfection, unlimited wealth, worldwide recognition, revenge, market dominance, family superiority, whatever it is, successful people are successful because they need and crave these things in their lives. While their sources of fame and fortune might be known to all, the reasons behind their motivation might be only known to them. On the other hand, the people who are branded as lazy and unsuccessful are usually motivated by one thing, to live a life free of stress. When you believe life should be lived without pain or stress, you start to see simple everyday tasks as a hindrance to your beliefs. It doesn't matter if these tasks would enhance your career or put you in a better place in life. Once the idea of working harder than normal conflicts with your beliefs of a stress-free life, you start to push back and settle for the bare minimum. But that doesn't mean that this set of people aren't without any motivation. You will find that sometimes the same people who crave a stress-free life also believe life should be comfortable, enjoyed or lived to the fullest. And so, with that goal in mind, there isn't a barrier such people wouldn't break to enjoy their lives. So how do you find the right motivation to bring the best out of you? You do one thing, you create necessity. Everybody can create their own necessity. We live our lives based on what we were told was the right thing to do. If it wasn't our parents telling us, then it was our friends, our teachers, or the media. Most of us were told to work hard, get a job, raise a family and secure a mortgage for your life to qualify as a decent one. We were also told that you only live once, live life like it's your last day, life is what you make it. If you've lived by these principles, then you need to understand that your way of life was influenced by people other than yourself. But now it's time to take charge and create your own reality. What is it you want in life? 
What would you love to have access to every single day so that you were content and satisfied? Is it power, prestige, a fast car, $1 million, $10 million, harmony, peace of mind, love of God, fame, great relationships, generosity, or is it wisdom? What are you willing to make the focal point of your existence so that it goes from fantasy to your reality? What is it you want that would make your life a constant joy once it's in your possession? Once you figure out what you want, make that your focus. Write it down, talk about it every day, think about it, share it with anybody that's willing to listen, dream about it, sing about it, pray about it, do research on how to obtain it. Let it consume you until you start taking the smallest steps to get it. The more you obsess about your new necessity, the more you believe in it, and the more you believe in it, the more you'll think about it, act on it, be about it, and eventually make it a part of your reality. Share your new necessity with anyone and everyone willing to listen and immediately find out who has succeeded in acquiring what you want so that you can pick a thing or two from them. If you lose your motivation because you have achieved your goal, then start again with a new need. This is common with the greatest athletes or music artists. They always seem to create a new need for themselves even after achieving the success that most of them aimed for. After you know what you want, the next step is to set a time frame. When do you want the thing that you crave the most? Time creates an urgency in your life, and once there is urgency in the things we do, we are forced to operate at our peak to achieve the goals we set for ourselves. Once you create necessity, you immediately create a drive to bring what you wish for into your life. But you must create what you think is necessary. Don't stand by and wait for an event in your life to create that necessity for you. So many people live on the sidelines until a tragic event occurs and forces them into the game of life. It may be an abrupt loss of a job or a dependent. It may be a crash in the stock market, a divorce, a sudden illness or a pandemic. Once our lives are turned upside down, most people are forced to bring out the best versions of themselves to survive. They say a mother can lift a car just to save her child without any fear of the consequences. That's motivation. Necessity creates a hunger inside you. The hungrier you are for something, the more motivated you will be to get it. You may not think you have it in you, but if you look closely, you will notice that, in the past, you have shown such hunger and desire for something and actually done everything in your power to get it. Do you remember when you wanted to go on that dance or get that outfit or meet someone at whatever cost? Remember what you did to get that new iPhone or to travel to that destination? You found motivation to make those things happen because in your mind, they had to happen. There was no alternative. They were necessary to you. You might brush it off and say, well, that's different. But while you try to find excuses for doing what you did with ease, there are millions of people out there who doubt that they'll ever achieve those very things. According to them, what you achieved is a fantasy. However small it may be, if you look hard enough, you'll notice you pulled out all the stops to get some of the things you now have that you wanted so bad. You found that motivation before because you made those things necessary to you. Don't take your abilities for granted. Everybody, whether rich or poor, is motivated by something. Even the rich who are perceived to have it all continue to work well into their twilight years, not because they need the money, but because they keep fighting for something they believe is necessary in their lives. Their motivation lies in the things they need to have every day. Create a need. Choose the time frame to achieve that need. Make it your focal point in life and start the process of achieving that need. We all have a fire inside us waiting to be lit. Find your spark and give life to your motivation.